You can have all the money you desire, but you can only spend it on Big Macs. Ah, uh, no. I don't even like McDonald's that much, thank you. I always feel like crap after I eat McDonald's. When was the last time I ate McDonald's? I can't even remember. You get a free ticket to your favorite destination, but you'll be trapped there for the rest of your life. Does that include a, a, a fictional destination? That's the thing. Like, what if I want to go to... Um, the, uh, the the world of One Piece or something, you know, like like the Grand Line or something. Like, what if I could go there? I wouldn't mind being stuck there. That would be kind of cool. But in terms of like a destination, so somewhere like realistic, so probably not. I'd rather earn money and buy the ticket, you know. So I just I just nah. Sorry, no. You would get one hundred million dollars. That's a bit excessive. But someone will try to kill you every week at a random date and time. <laughs> no, these, I have not pressed the button once yet. These are bad questions. Come on, give me something good, please. Okay, thirty-nine percent of people have pressed. Really? Someone will try to kill you every week at a random date and time. That could include your family. You know, I mean. It's not cool. No countries in world peace. You can go and live anywhere you choose and the world will be a great place. But you have an increased chance of getting any disease. Uh, 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 I don't know. Um, like, See, this, this is what sucks. If I say no, I'm selfish. You know, but if I go yes, like uh, the world will be a great place but at, the, at the, you know, consequence of me, you know, being susceptible to diseases. But I don't, like, I don't, I don't want that, you know, like, what about me? <laughs> like, I know, uh, see, this is one of those questions that I hate, because no matter what, you always feel like a selfish prick. Okay, fine, fine, I'll press that button, I'll, I'll just, I'll just be really freaking healthy and just, you know, try my best, I guess. Okay, this is a really good one. You have all your, all the knowledge in the world, but you lose all of your childhood memory. Oh, okay, that's good because your childhood memory is really important because it kind of like defines who you are really, you know, because you, you grow up being who you are because your childhood experiences and such. Um, but you have all the knowledge in the world. Oh, that could also have consequences like you could get really depressed of like all the bad shit in reality and all that crap because sometimes it's good for us just not to know things, you know, straight up. Like, I, 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 I personally believe that if you know everything, you're gonna get depressed because you just you you end up knowing all the bad shit, you know. That's the thing. But at the same time, but like I don't want to be ignorant. That's the thing. Like I like to know stuff. It's just you know, like all the all the knowledge in all the world, knowledge in the world. So you know everything everyone knows, right? So like that includes. Does that include like people from the past, like Albert Einstein and stuff? Because if it does, then I could know a lot of sciencey stuff. And Stephen Hawking, who just died, which, rest in peace to him, he was a great guy. <laughs> Off topic, but Stephen Hawking was actually the, the man who um, got me really, really interested in space. And I absolutely love space. But, yeah, I... I don't know. This is quite hard. This is a really hard one. You know what? In the end, I'm just going to have to go no. Because I, I, I don't really want to lose my childhood memory. I had a good childhood. I like my childhood, thanks. I'd rather keep that. 62%? Yeah, I can, I can, I can understand that. I can understand how more people would prefer to have all the knowledge in the world, because it depend, all depends on what kind of a childhood you have, you know? You'll have all of Superman's powers, but the one you love the most would constantly try to kill you. Um, no. Because <laughs> that would suck, because that also means losing the one you love. You know? Or well, technically not, but if they're trying to kill you, they're obviously, you know, they don't, they don't want you, because, so, no, that's, that's stupid. You're accepted to Hogwarts, but you're put in Slytherin. I don't see any downside here. I don't care if I'm in Slytherin. <laughs> Straight up go to Hogwarts. Why would you not press that? It's just Slytherin. It's just a house. It doesn't define who you are. Jesus, man. You can go back to any age you would like, but you cannot change anything that happens. Oh, okay, so I can go back to any, like, time periods, is what I think it's saying, like, medieval times and stuff like that, and ancient Roman times. Um, yeah, I would, I would press that, mainly because, like, you can just you know, view, you can just like, perceive, you know, just like, examine and see what, and just, you know, it's just knowledge based, you know, you just learn things from it, which is pretty cool, because at the same time, you could learn things that people don't know, that's been forgotten to history, you know, so that would, you could like, write books and sh shit, that would be amazing. You have a lifetime supply of free meals, but you eat them in front of starving children who can't have, no, 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 
no, no. Who is the e who are the evil thirty seven percent twenty two thousand four hundred eighty people who would do that? Unless they themselves are starving children, then I can kind of understand that because that you know, um, yeah. But no, nah, not 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 in my case where I can't afford my own food. Uh, no, that's just evil. You become euphoric, enlightened by your own intelligence, but you are a fat neckbeard. Uh, wait a minute. So you you what does euphor euphoric mean again? I, I can't remember. Let's let's uh, let's search it up. Characterized by feeling of intense excitement or happiness. So I'm really excited by the fact that I'm really smart or something. Doesn't that so I'm just an egotistical fat neckbeard person. Uh, uh, like, en enlightened by my own intelligence. So it's not saying that you're actually smart. It's just you think you're so smart that the... F yeah, that's basically what it's saying. By your own intelligence. It doesn't say that you get smarter. It just says that you're, you're enlightened by your own level of intelligence and you're really excited and happy about it. So you're basically become... If you press that button, you're becoming an egotistical fat neckbeard. No. Rid any physical or mental disorders from yourself or anyone you choose, but your most embarrassing moments will become a viral hit on YouTube and no one will forget it. Okay, see, see the thing is, I haven't really had like a really super embarrassing moment. I never had. I, I feel like I've had this question before. No, not, not this exact question. Like, I think I've had this, like a similar one on Would You Rather or something like, it'll be like, would you rather this or like your embarrassing moment revealed or something? I can't remember. But I remember, I don't, I, I can't remember an embarrassing moment, even if I had one, you know? Uh, so, I'm most embarrassed, I'm trying to think of it, like, I, I can't think of a moment that was, like, overly embarrassing, or was embarrassing enough. Like, yeah, you've had, like, awk, like, you get that awkward embarrassment when you do something socially awkward, but that's just, like, a minor thing, that's just, like, a normal minor thing that everyone does, so it's not a big deal. So it's just a video of something like that, then, yeah, and I can, rid people will forgive me. You know, because you can you'll be like the magical person who can cure someone. People will forgive you. Yeah, I'll press that button. If you can be like a magical person who can cure illnesses and disorders and stuff, people will love you, you know, because you're giving people normal lives that they deserve, you know, because mental disorders, you know, they're, they're born with them. There is no more hunger and slavery in the world, but nobody cares. What? Huh? What do you... What do you, what do you mean nobody cares? So... That doesn't make any sense. There's no more hunger and slavery in the world. But nobody cares. But that doesn't. That, I don't. I I, I. I. My brain's gone blank. Does that mean nobody cares in general? Like people just don't care. Like they lose the emotion, the ability to care. That's how I'm going to interpret that. Because nobody cares about the fact that there's no more hunger. That's kind of a good thing. Really think about it. You know, because there's no more hunger and slavery, so there's no point. There's no reason to care. So if you don't care, you, don't, no, you know you know what I mean, right? So yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Ace, yeah, uh, uh, logical decision. Okay, here's a good one to end the video on. You can achieve your childhood or adulthood dreams and goals, but you have to give up everything you have, including a place to live. See, my dream is to be a YouTuber. See, that's the thing. So if I got that. I'd have to give up everything I have, including a place to live. See, that would not work for me, because I need a computer and a place to live to make YouTube videos, so that completely contradicts my dream. Yet, if you're someone who doesn't need that to get a dream, like, like you want to be like a sports star or something, you know, you just go off with a, with a team of, like, I don't know, if you want to be like a professional cricket player or something, you go off with them, you, know, you leave everything else behind. But in my case, I can't physically do that. I, like... I can't, you know, but like everyone's different, you know, like what are your dreams and goals? Would you press that button or not? That's why I thought this one would be a really good one to end the video on. But yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not, I can't. 45%, it's 55%, that's pretty balanced. That is another episode of Will You Press The Button, I hope you enjoyed that. I'm gonna make a lot more of these, I really enjoy these. I like videos that I can just talk a lot in, you know, I like to talk, it's, it's a good thing, especially if you're a freaking YouTuber. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, and as usual, I'll see you all in the next video. Have a good one, guys.